I feel sorry for my crew team. Rabbit, double clutch it, chicken wing it. Yeah. Oh, you know. That's you, can, son. You know. Absolutely chicken wing. Right out of <laughs> so How do you feel about your old man being so much more of a legend than you? <laughs> <laughs> this is the difference between a vegan athlete and a meat non-athlete. <laughs> so you've obviously you just had your moment, let me have mine. Right? <laughs> if we backtrack, you started off on the bike, and I just like lapped you like that. Then we had to start <laughs> adjusting it and getting it set up nice, so I had to adjust it for you. Then you had to watch to see where I went round the track. Then you had to pick up on my lines and go, oh yeah, and then start picking up the spot. Uh. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I've got a bit of pound drum, but <laughs> I've still got a few moves for a chubby boy. <laughs> I've been riding the 125 the last two days. You smoked your ass, do you know what I mean? So, like, you're Wait, like, listen. and on a 250. Yeah. And, like, you can say it's a 125 track all you like, but I'll get on that 250 and smoke your ass again. <laughs> got me new old girl I've done four rides on it and you've been riding all these different bikes for so many years and I've come in absolutely let you have it around your private track yeah yeah, yeah. we locked on and then you went down <laughs> yeah. just, I'm not disputing that yeah, I went down mate. <laughs> I've got some different pistons he needs it now I'm absolutely yeah. smoking it <laughs> He's generally fast for an old man. He's not bad. <laughs> so the last two days we've been riding a YZ125 and a YZ250 uh, in stock form, which has been pretty cool. We've just been making a few tweaks and adjustments. Uh, I've rode a Yamaha. Uh, You've been Yam for a few years. Yeah, I've been Yam for a number of years and even got... Uh, heavily supported from Yamaha UK to, to race the British two-stroke scene back in the day. Did that for three years, so I was riding back-to-back -back 125 and 250. Um, and and so, yeah, I know, I know my way around these bikes, that's for sure. And uh, we all know that they haven't changed. The front forks and the little bits, you know, had some new revised settings. But it's just some, always just surprising about, you know, how much technology and how fast things move all the time or change yeah. and development and and then you step back onto these machines and it's almost like it doesn't you know sometimes it just doesn't matter does it it doesn't care you get the same level of yeah fun enjoyment um you i mean you should be more cleaned up than most obviously with the, the you know the pit crew or tech crew yeah. that that you've got and what yeah. you work on um in the road racing yeah um and and, and fine adjust I mean, how do you feel? How do you feel about riding the bikes over the last two days? Yeah, good. I think they've not obviously changed much, but you ride a new one to to one that's a little bit older in in style and, and model, and there's no difference. I yeah. really, really can't find any different. I actually prefer to to ride the the older model. I think sometimes you can go too technical with stuff and, and try to make the motors too fast and, and not usable so these are really user friendly um, and yeah like I say the, the whole suspension setup they come fairly good standard but it's it's just basically fine tuning it to how you ride and, and, and how you want it Now, I've had the pleasure of riding a 125 and a 250 on the same day, doing six motos, you know, 3 yeah. on the 125 and 2 on the 250. I did that for three years. And and what I found is, you know, I've, I've gone to extreme lengths of testing with the 125 and the 250. The 125, you know, in regards to head volume swish, cranks, uh, long longer com rods, you know, two and a half mil spacer underneath the cylinder. Well, I bet you came back. I came here, yeah, we come back. I mean, in the end, I ended up with an Audi kit and just some fine tuning and some di different different tweaks and gearing that, that I preferred. On the 250, that was a diff totally different thing. When I first went onto the 250 Yam, I had a 265 kit, um, you know, 
pretty much spent most of my time in the engine just getting that right and you know making it usable friendly power which it really it ended up being an awesome weapon but in the end when i when i was jumping from the 125 to the 250 it was almost too much so i then just started to run like the standard 250 so I could, I wanted a fast one two five, obviously, because we know that one. Almost hot. close the gap. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And also, we, in on a one two five, we know that horsepower rules, you know, and then <laughs> and them CC. So, so I had a fast one two five. I felt. Wait, yeah, and you were skinny back then. Uh, Don't worry, you were skinny back then. Oh, <laughs> oh the jokes on no, basically, basically, this is how it rolls. Okay, so I mentioned to Jake that obviously he lo he looks like he's um. His diet's changed, and for a number of years now he's been a vegan, which is clearly working out for him because he's pretty slim, Jim. But you know, when I have my ham sandwich and I roll out on the lap and just absolutely blitz you, boy, right? <laughs> then you know, then you want to make sure that I, you know you want to be grateful that yeah. I am not on this diet because yeah, if I yeah, do lose yeah. a little bit of weight. Mate. You're gonna be stupidly fast. No, I'll bet. No, I'll tell, <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. Okay, when you get older, you start getting a little bit more wrinkly. So what you want to do is you want to fill, fill out. Fill out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the old man's grasped onto that no, one. No, no, definitely not. No, no, no. But yeah, going back to the two fifty. <laughs> that's off topic. But um, the, yeah, I, I always wanted the two fifty. Then that I could that I could really kind of override and, and ride hard because yeah. that was what I was doing on the 125. Yeah, yeah. So then on the 250, I, I almost slowed it down to a degree. I had some I had some bolt-on parts and different um, reed blocks and some modifications in we the kept cylinder. It fairly standard. Yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. And even had like a longer silencer just to, to make the bike a little bit enduro. So I could, yeah, and I could whack on the throttle. <laughs> What we found is is that riding the two different bikes is the two different skill sets that's yeah, needed. Of course there is, yeah. So obviously when you're riding the 125, a lot more corner speed, a lot more revving, there's a lot more going on on a 125 rather than the 250 is almost like a four stroke. Yeah. yeah in it, it's, yeah, it's, it's almost yeah. more towards that way of a four stroke life, but still you have that enjoyment of it being light, fast, and you still have to run some corner speed, isn't it? Yeah. I I mean, on 125, you can't beat, can you? Because it actually is just one of them feel good factors. But let's get it right, you know. To, not everybody can ride a 125 fast. They can they can certainly over rev it, double clutch it, chicken wing it. <laughs> you know, That's you, can, son. You know. And you can, you can almost, you know, you can really flat out straight line it, over rev it, and come out of the turns and abuse it. And look, it sound like you're going about a million mile an hour and yeah, you're not but, going anywhere. Exactly, but to put the lap together as whole and to be to put that lap time together, you know, it takes it, it takes a lot of skill and talent. Of course it does, yeah. You know, and that's that's one of the things you've got to keep it in the bike in the right rev range, make sure it doesn't dip, make sure that you're you're just hitting all your marks and you are working the gearbox and, and the rev range. Yeah. You know, and, and you've got to be creative on track. Yeah. Like I was saying, when I started to follow you, I actually couldn't hear my bike. Yeah. Because you're just keeping it constantly in that high RPM where it's wanting to drive, rather than if you drop out, then you're not going to be driving anywhere, are you? So yeah. Well, it's, and it, you know when you was first looking at the track, I just said to you, didn't on the 250, yeah. you won't hear your bike round here. You no. shouldn't hear it. You should all you should hear is it just kind of and the old classic two-stroke sound out of a turn yeah. and on takeoff well, and landing. Yeah. You know, and then and then maybe the you know down the straight you're going to hear it as well, clear yeah, yeah. it out through there, but. But it, it's a different technique. Of so, it is, yeah. so what's the best technique, right, to ride the 250 fast? What you found over the last two days on this smooth. track? Smooth, smooth, smooth is the key to everything. And actually, like you said, roll through a gear higher everywhere. Yeah. And it actually, if you even go down the straight a gear height, it stops the bike from being so nervous and yeah. rolling through the corner. It's much more lazy, but still is driving you know and this bike doesn't have to be revving in its high rpm it can be down low because it's got a lot of torque yeah and i think that's where they excel the 250s over a 125 and that's how you ride the bikes yeah. as well so obviously when you're on the 125 you're up high in the air in the rev range you want to be mid to top and you really want to you know make the most of that power that meat yeah, power yeah, there yeah. when you're on the 250 you know, like bottom end, it? yeah you want to be in that mid and and if you're if you are up on the top end you know, then you're, you're heading into some dangerous territory because the bike just starts getting a little bit yeah, more yeah. nervous. So you're better off hooking that gear higher yeah, keep and it low. keeping it low and then just trying to work the turn right and not, you 
know, not rushing in. Yeah, not straight in, set up. Four-stroke though, that is. Yeah. You can really rush the turns on a four-stroke. You can really blow the corner out and well, still get away with it. Because you've just got that torque, haven't you? Whereas on this, you'll spin, you've got to concentrate and get the right drive, make sure that the bike doesn't break away from you, the rear end. You don't yeah, want yeah, that yeah. breaking away. So, Do you know what I like the most about riding a two-stroke? On a four-stroke, I was a gooner jumping. Yeah, I couldn't bum with now I'm an absolute bum whip king on this two stroke boy. <laughs> oh, get over that jump and absolutely chicken with. Run out of Loving it. Doing <laughs> some big licks over there. I actually did generally, I it feel was... I jump better on a two stroke because they're lighter, they're more friendly to, to ride in the air and you can play around with it rather than four stroke. Even a 250 is heavy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. You've got you've got a little bit more feel. At the yeah. same time, when you when you chop the throttle as well, it carries on that, that momentum. Does it? Yeah, free through. rolls. It just free rolls. And rather than you chop the throttle on a four stroke, it's like, whoa, the momentum stops straight away, loads the front a lot more. So. And also, as well, I just noticed you in, you, know, you go back to your chicken wing it and you know, you're giving it stuff. <laughs> when you first started off, you were like this on the bike, you know, it just didn't move. And now, all of a sudden, the bike's going a little bit sideways, you're moving, the rear brake's coming into play. Yeah. And it's like, oh, you know, it's like, bop, <laughs> yeah. That is such a uh, a rider and a, a motorcycle thought of explaining anything sounds come into it. Like yeah. if you explained, oh yeah, absolute back brake turbo. Ah, 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 that's it, isn't it? Does that language still transfer over to the road race? Yeah, of course it is. Because you come in, say you have a bit of front end chat. You come in, oh the front's absolutely pumping like this, and got <laughs> the rear pumping on the rear. And, it's so much. I feel sorry for my crew chief because he has to put. I have my electronics guy. They have to put up with me coming in ranting constantly. That oh, I'm not happy. The bike's running wide. It's understeering. Oh god, come on, sort it out. Where you just go, yeah, put a bit of this on. Yeah. Just get on with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man up, mate. Man, man up. up. Just get on it. Man up. Chicken wings. Yeah, on. yeah. Get the forearms into play. <laughs> what I <laughs> chicken wing. What was I going to say to you was is that the best technique is obviously double clutch chicken wing it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you ain't got that dog, there's no point in even riding. Yeah, mate. yeah, yeah. Don't course. even come out of us if you're not chicken winging. Don't even ride in a field, mate. You, yeah. you, like, you ain't even a field warrior. Yeah, <laughs> field warrior. A hacker, field hacker. Where do you want to be? <laughs> riding, riding the 252 stroke. Yeah, and at the practice tracks and your training. And you obviously. You know, it's still competitive yeah. to a degree, isn't it? You still want to have a race, you're having a battle, yeah, get yeah, the look. Yeah. And then you've been going with a couple of your mates as well, yeah, like yeah, Danny, yeah. haven't you, riding? Yeah. He rides he rides a four-stroke. Yeah. Do you feel like at a disadvantage, like, oh, I needed a four-stroke? No. Or, no, no I, I don't even care what they're almost doing because it's almost irrelevant to, to what I'm riding, to what they're riding. They're riding two completely different bikes. One's a four-stroke, one's a two-stroke, so... Yes, you could say that the 252 stroke is the definition of a 454 stroke, but there's still differences. Now, this is like I said, this is an older bike, so it's not going to be as fast. Yeah. Technology's moved on, you know. The, the 450 is so user friendly. This you have to be so careful on picking the bike up. You're not rolling out the corner and you, you, you're just getting on the gas too hard. It's a completely different way of riding. This will bite you and hurt you rather than the 450 would just let you get away with it. Even, um, I shouldn't really say this, but Danny <laughs> rode my two-stroke. Um, we'll just say Danny's rode a two-stroke before, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Danny's, because yeah. he's got a motocross background, yeah, yeah, so yeah, just yeah, say yeah. Danny's got a motocross background, rode two-strokes before. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, so Danny's basically rode 250 two-strokes before and 125s and, and everything, so he really understands the, the difference between the, the four-stroke and the two-stroke, and he, generally prefers to, to ride two strokes so <clears throat> it's a really nice thing to do because obviously like I said before I got this bike I rung around I rung you and, and I was speaking to Danny about and he said nah just get a 250 two stroke he says honestly he says you will have the most fun riding and at the end of the day in racing racing can be tough and you can sometimes lose a little bit of enjoyment out of it because it is so serious it's not just a hobby no more it's a job isn't it so yeah. It's but a to come, vibe, isn't it? it like is, yeah. You were seven days now as yeah, well, yeah. and you know you were out cycling. Yeah, yeah. So like this morning, having to get up early just before coming to ride here because it's too easy not to get up and, yeah. and do that. But if you really want it, you've got to do it. But what I'm getting back to is riding. This is an enjoyment. It's fun. It's not a. It's not a. It's a back to being a hobby. Yeah. 
and it was nice, obviously, today and yesterday having um, my old man back on the spanners yeah. and obviously just going over the bike and my granddad turning up today and Sarah come and have a little watch because Sarah's never really watched me on motocross, so they got a bit too cold when went home. So, yeah, but it's, it's always nice to, to come back here, especially when we're at a private track as well. Yeah, it's mega. I mean, yeah, just going back to that, just to touch base on that. But we've had so much fun just on both bikes yeah, the sick, last man. two days and eight. You yeah, know? It's so sick. And, and I think the point that we're trying to make is is that riding a two-stroke isn't just – you. No, it isn't just about the noise, it isn't just about the sound, it's you know, it's about working on the two stroke in the garage, it's about having that connection Easy. with your mate. Yeah, and you you know, you're you're all you you're talking, aren't you? You're hands on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then also as well on the track you're just finding these little things that, that make it a little bit more fun. Um, yes, it might make you a little bit more a little bit slower on the practice track against the other guys who you know but at the same time you you're working you're working different things aren't you yeah, so of course you are. and 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 you're kind of learning different skills and you're really just trying to get your points and and you can feel everything if it if you do make a mistake it does bite you oh and, mate it, you feel this so much more if you make a mistake but, on a two stroke do well, you? to your lap times and how yeah, frustrating everything. is that but then at the same time if i make a mistake then you're back on me yeah, aren't you yeah, yeah, and yeah. they're not like hundreds of a seconds they're seconds of mis mistakes so yeah. it makes it fun doesn't it you know and we're all just looking for all them little bits and um your dad back in the day i mean he used to train on a 500 yeah we we're talking about yeah, that weren't yeah, we yeah. so i mean he used to train on he had gerard smith's old five 500 didn't he and he he actually said to me that he backed off the throttle put a restrictor in the throttle just to to ride the thing and yeah because it's too much yeah i mean going back to that how do you feel about your old man being so much more of a legend than you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah so come on let's run through what did he do like he was world champion two times two, two times two times yeah uh, what about british yeah he's british champion so i i came short on that <laughs> i came short on that one but, I'm, 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 wait, wait, but the one thing i'm gonna do is be what he was in his two wheels world champion <laughs> that's one thing i'm gonna have over the old boy and i wish you all the luck for it mate you no, deserve it you deserve it right we're gonna get we're gonna get back off we'll get on the bikes do some more clips i'm gonna be working on this one a little bit more i've already found a Rinaldi head um reed block I've got some different pistons. He needs it now. I'm absolutely yeah. smoking him. I've got aftermarket, got a couple of aftermarket exhausts to try. I've got some different ignitions. I've got some, <laughs> I'm already, I already know where I'm going with my rear gear in on the sprocket. You know, so, and, and then I'm, you know, if, yeah, if I do, if I do hit the gym, then, mate, next time when we meet up, you go watch out. Let's keep it back on the level. All right, I smoked it. <laughs> <laughs>